Hello again, what about you? It's Philip here from My Apple in Carrick Fergus. Uh, today we have in an iPhone 11. It's came in for a screen change. Um, I tried to do some sort of pre repair checks, but she is not switching on. So I'm wondering whether if the screen. Oh, there we are. No, it's battery symbol. So it needs charge. It's funny, in this case, uh, normally what I have to do is um, test the phone to make sure everything works before I change the screen. As I make sure the camera works, the volume buttons, power button, forward facing camera, face ID, um, just to ensure there's no other problems before I start fixing it and get maybe blamed on uh, on breaking something. But anyway, um, so we'll carry on anyway. Uh, we'll, we'll just make a note and tell the customer that it wasn't charged before I change the screen. So can't be held, held liable for anything that's may, may be found afterwards. But anyway, let's crack on. Two pentelope screws, first of all, to come out. I should really get my glasses on for this, you know. Wherever they may be. Now, the iPhone 11, um, it's recessed into the housing, which means it sits into it. So it's, it's quite difficult to get the screen off, especially when there's cracks and the little suckers don't stick to the screen properly. But we'll give it a try and see. It should need a bit of heat, but... Oh, let's see. No, it's came right up. I would suspect, because it's came up so easily, that it's had a screen replacement before. Yeah, it must have done. Way too easy. I just got one of these little, little plastic pry tools to, to open it up. Again, be very careful of your cables, your display cables, which are on the right hand side of the phone, just where I'm going down now. The display cables are just uh, just actually located here, but they swoop down from under the under the phone itself. Just be extra careful around that part and also around the top as well with the cameras and your face ID module, etc. etc. Yeah, that's came off way too easy. So it must have had a screen change before. Right, let's open it up and see what's going on in here. Well, you can maybe see from here there's a lot of dirt in around the uh, your camera modules and your face ID. There is a screw that's came out down here that's from the screen cradle, I think it's called. Well, I we don't actually need that screw because the, one I, the new screen I've got comes with that complete. Okay. We're gonna to have to change the adhesive in here as well because it's uh, it's very dirty. So first thing, we need to isolate the power so we don't uh, short anything out. Three screws holding down the uh, battery connector bracket, if that's what you call it. That's what we'll call it now anyway. That's, that's why I've decided it's gonna be called. One, two, three. So this will come straight off. Oh, let's use the tweezers. And your battery connector is just here. Now be very careful when taking it off. You don't want to knock off any small components. And we'll just move it out of the way. Okay, your battery is disconnected. Now one, two, three, four, five, another five Y-shaped screws. I think these ones are all the same size, but I like to keep them in order. Or the order they came off is the order they go back on. Keeps it handy for me. You also need to be very careful at this bit as well, that none of the screws magically fly across the room, because believe me, they're that small. They're very hard to find again. Can you see? Can you see the size of that one? Very tiny indeed. Okay, that's your display brackets. Two cables for your, your display, one and two. You can be very careful taking those uh, taking those off. Don't knock off any components. All right, so we can put this down here for now. And then again, this cable here, this is the one for your cameras. Very easily broken. And if you break that, you are in trouble because you'll damage your face ID which would not please the customer, believe me. All right, so that's the screen off. Um, let's see. Just 
Okay, everything looks all right in there. So we have one, two, three, four screws, two Phillips heads, sorry, no, one white, white, uh, Y screw, and three Phillips. So where's my Phillips? Again, these are all different sizes, these screws, so it's very important you keep them in the order that they come out so you don't damage your new screen as you put it back on again. IPhones 11, iPhone 11s are actually quite, uh, they're quite easy to, easy to fix or very easy to replace the screens on. Sorry, there's another screw there. Oh. Didn't see that wee one. Sneaky, sneaky. Have you ever uh, changed the screen before? Didn't tighten the nut or the screws very well. The idea is not to tighten them too much anyway, but you still need to give it a bit for to make sure they stay in place. You know what I mean? Now, what I like to do is to get this all off in one go, just like that. That is very dirty. So it is. We'll just take this off. Yeah, it's 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 very dirty this uh, bracket, so we'll just replace it with a new one. A bit of heat around the forward facing microphone, just to loosen the uh, loosen the adhesive. Don't want to heat that for too long. Um, the ribbon keels are quite fragile. Just a quick blast, a quick spray of acid purple alcohol. And that should come right off. And there we go. Done. Now, new screen time. So, this is your new iPhone 11 screen. Let's take off the protective film, first of all. Yeah, you need to be very careful doing this. You don't want to damage the uh, new LCD. Now, what we want to do first is line up your ear speaker. There we go. Ear speaker is in, which then should line up your front microphone and also your front camera as well. Of course if you want to go in. Why don't you want to go in? That was more difficult than it should have been. Okay, so let's replace the screws as we took them out. So last one out, first one in. That was a star head, I believe, or Phillips. I'm not gonna tighten these up properly just yet until I get all the screws in. Just make sure all the lines properly. Best making sure that it's uh, aligned properly now, then later on I have to go back and do it again. Right, swap to the tri wing. I'm not satisfied where I got that one up. Okay, let me that one. Small trimming in there. And the final screw. Yep. 
that's tight. Tight. I can tighten them up, not too much, but just enough that you know it's going to stay in place. All right, done. That's it. That's the uh, that's the screen prep done. All I have to do now is take the old adhesive off or the old seal off the frame of the phone. Get the new screen on. Ding dang do. We're all done. Is that right? It's this. So the, the adhesive strip goes all the way around the outside. Helps with the water resistance. Is it water resistant or waterproof? I don't know. I wouldn't fancy dropping one in the bath. Tell you that. And it's very important to get all of this adhesive off or else the old stuff or the new stuff won't stick properly. Which is easier said than done. Of course we're working with a very sharp blade inside the phone so you need to be extra careful and not to uh, get a bit too excited. Maybe catch something that you shouldn't catch. Not that I would of course. Come on, one go and one go and one go. Oh, damn. So get this off, give it a clean with some isopropyl alcohol. And then new seat on, new screen on, happy days, dinner time. I'm not sure what it's like where you are today, but here in uh, good old Carrick Fergus, Northern Ireland, I was just outside there a second ago and it was 28 degrees, which uh, for those of you who don't live in our fair isle, is very, very hot for here. Put it, put it like this, when it's 14 degrees Celsius, they're at the beach, their taps off and the guns out. Sun's out, guns out, that's what they say. Not literally guns, of course. Well, it depends where you live, I suppose. Alright, we'll I'll need to give this a bit of a clean in there as well. Because it's very dusty from where the screen was broken. But again, much to, we don't even know whether it's going to... Oh, that's right, but the battery was flat, wasn't it? So... I need to make sure that it switches on. Almost done with this. Probably spend longer doing this than we do uh, on actually any other part of the repair. I'm sure there's probably a very easy way to do this, but this is the way I do it. I'm glad this is actually, the, the, whoever replaced the screen before had also replaced that s adhesive strip as well. Which is good to see. Uh, some people just leave the old, the old adhesive on. Some people just take it off and don't replace it at all, which I think is, uh, is not right. But at least their own, I suppose. You get what you pay for. If you're going to do something, uh, you might as well do it right. That's what I think. But what do I know? Nobody listens to me anyway. Come on, nice little tiny, tiny bit. Right. Now, some isopropyl alcohol, which is 99.9% .9 medical grade alcohol. It doesn't conduct electricity and it evaporates within seconds. Highly, highly flammable, so I certainly wouldn't smoke anywhere near it. That's a great solvent for taking off or de, for to de-stick any residue from any sticky back plastic or tape stuff like that. There's no point in spraying this directly onto the foam because it would just evaporate in seconds anyway, especially in today's, today's heat. 
she is hot. Oops, that little thing to break that. Also, while, while the battery is disconnected, we'll also give the charge port a little, little inspection, clean it out, to make sure there's nothing hiding in there. See if I'm having to come back in the future, I suppose. All at no extra cost, all part of the service. Well, to be honest, it is, uh, what time is it? It's 5 to 7 p.m. on a Saturday night. I think that's excellent service. That's just how we, uh, that's just how we operate. Okay, that's the adhesive off. Now, we're gonna use the toothbrush, make sure it's clean, give it a bit of a spray in there of isopropyl alcohol. And lightly go over the cameras Anywhere where there was dust inside. Because you don't want the dust then moving once the screen's on, maybe inside the camera, obscuring the, uh, the vision or the view. Okay. Make sure there's no residue on those cameras. Our lenses are they're quite dirty actually. If you feel your face ID. Right, it should be alright, I think. Everything else in there okay. Bit damage to the battery there, just here. Not it, not I, Your Honor. Not I. Okay. Battery's disconnected, so I certainly wouldn't advise sticking anything in your charge port, especially anything that's metal. Don't forget, I have the battery disconnected, so I know it's not going to short anything out, but certainly I wouldn't advise you to do it unless you're qualified or competent. Or unless your battery's disconnected, of course. Ew! Pocket dirt. He must have problems charging this. This is, this is quite bad, actually. Okay, another spray of isopropyl alcohol under the toothbrush. Give it a wee swipe in there. Okay, make sure there's good contact. Perfect. Okay, so new adhesive time. And which way around, which way around. Okay, there's two little notches here which line up with the two notches there on the forward camera. This can be quite tricky actually getting this uh, getting this on. What I try to do is get it done properly on one side first and then the rest should just fall into place. That's the theory anyway. Use our little plastic tool just to get it uh, down from the lip. Just to catch that. Little stinker there. Okay. 
Okay, so that's it all down. I want to give it a quick run over with the plastic tool to press the adhesive against the frame of the phone so it sticks. Because nine times out of ten you lift this uh, protective cover off and off comes the adhesive too. Just like that. Now, new screen time. Again, just uh, we replace it as we took it off. So the first thing we replace is this cable here for your forward facing camera and face ID. Can't emphasize again, enough again to uh, be very careful whilst handling this cable. I'm sure it's very easily broken. Haven't broken one before, do want to start now. Okay, that's that. Flip it over. Now I'm resting this screen. I don't want to put any tension on these cables, so I'm resting the screen from the frame here on the screen itself onto the chassis of the phone. Now, which one's going to go on first? Try this one. One, two. Battery taker is not full. Fittery out of place. Now, let's just make sure we have some life in this. We borrow the park here from this. Doot. There's the battery symbol on. So, at least the screen lights up. So uh, normally I would wait until the phone comes on before I seal it up, but um, I'm sure it's okay. So I'll just replace little bits and bobs, get the screws back into it again and get it on the charge before we take it back to the customer. Again, screws going on as they came off. Last off, first on. It's such a pain on the back side if one of these goes uh, bejoying across the floor. Because nine times out of ten you won't find it Ian. Come on, you little stinker. But if you're doing this, you know, take your time. There's no, I actually am in a bit, a bit of a rush today. Um, not that I'm rushing this or anything, but take your time. You know, I'd rather, you'd rather get it right first time than have to go back and to rectify any mistakes or God forbid, uh, solve any problems that you might have caused from rushing. Says, try to get it finished as quickly as possible. Almost done. Right, the last screw going in now. Oh, there he that screw. Come on, you little bugger. Right, 
Done. That's it. That's the screen change uh, complete. Now, this is uh, this can be quite tricky sometimes in these phones. I'm not sure if you can see that on this screen. Um, you have these little. What do you call these? Inserts. I don't know. This goes into the space that's here. That one goes into the space that's there. Um, this one and this one go here and here. They're very easy bent, and if you bend them, the screens don't fit properly. So take your time. So, right, just place the screen on top first. Make sure everything's going in where it should be going in. That's okay. The sides, excellent. It's a matter of them pressing it down. That doesn't want to go in for some reason. Now the last thing I want to do is break this new screen. What's happened here is I put it down uneven evenly. So let's try that one again. Done. Two pentalope screws in the bottom, and that's us finitoed. Oh, scared myself there. Last one. Okay, that's it. Now, I'll we'll stick it on charge. You can see the battery symbols on there. Okay, so there's the phone coming back on now. Um, it's obviously charged up enough to switch on. Now, I haven't got the passcode for this phone. The customer didn't want to hand it over. Um, he does know that, of course, um, because I can't test it, if it comes back to him and there's something wrong, you'll then have to bring it back and you'll have to pay to get it rectified again. Well, there's, there's touch anyway. Um, that's all I can really, can really test. Okay, that's us done. That's the screen change on an iPhone 11. Hope you have a really good day and uh, enjoy yourself whatever you're doing. That's all for now. See you next time. Bye-bye.